Farms in our state are feeling the heat after high temperatures and limited rainfall put their harvest at risk. You can see the Fox Valley is experiencing a severe drought on the latest map from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. This report does not include rain in the last few days, but gives us some perspective into how our state is doing right now. In the first alert update, Emily Roberts visits an Outagamie County farmer crossing his fingers for some rain. I'm not one to be a crybaby or nothing like that. It's dry. We could use some rain. Periods of hot, dry weather threaten the livelihood of farmers in our state. And Grand Chute's Mark Peterson has hundreds of acres of corn, alfalfa, and soybeans to look after. I think these little mini rainfalls we got made a difference. I, I, it, looks a little, a little, it looks a little bit better. It's, we're still under drought stress, of course, but uh, the rain certainly, uh, we're holding our own. Take a look at this graph from the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Nearly 90 percent of Wisconsin corn is in a drought zone. Peterson says his corn crops are really short right now, creating a guessing game as to what his harvest could look like. If you want it to be ripe grain, you want pollination the first week of August. I don't know if we're going to see that or not, so uh, it, it's kind of a, a wait and see kind of a situation. The Peterson farm focuses on dairy by milking around 50 cows a day. And these guys rely on a successful corn harvest as part of their meals. For me, it's probably about 75% about of my corn crop is needed for the cows on a typical year. So this year, if our yields are down, might need to take every last acre for cow feed. Peterson says there is some good news. The varieties we're planting today are much more stress tolerant than they were like 20 years ago. And the way we manage our crops are more... Uh, makes us tolerate the uh, stress times uh, drought as well as too much rain better than it was you know 25 30 years ago with just a few months left in the summer growing season he is hopeful to see more rain in the forecast in out of county emily roberts action 2 news